Hi experts, welcome to a brief tutorial on how to use Spantit CPU on a Nexus 9000 switch. My name is William Brown and I'm a technical consulting engineer at Cisco. To begin, we can review the basics of Spantit CPU. Spantit CPU is an on-box capture tool that exists on Nexus 9000 cloud scale ASIC based switches. These switches will be known via their ending of EX, FX, or similar. Spanda CPU allows a port to have its traffic redirected to the CPU interface of the Nexus switch. Once at the CPU of the switch, the traffic can be viewed via ETH Analyzer. This video will briefly demonstrate how ETH Analyzer can be used, but for a more in-depth review, please reference the ETH Analyzer Capture Tools video. Combining these tools can provide a wealth of data when troubleshooting, when traditional methods of capturing are not available. Please also note that span to CPU will be rate limited at 50 packets per second. This is intended to protect the CPU of the switch. With that being said, on high traffic volume interfaces, span to CPU may not be the ideal capture method. This is again due to the rate limit, preventing all traffic from potentially reaching the CPU. Next, we can review the lab topology. As you can see on screen, for the purpose of the lab, we have the following three switch topology. The switch on the left will be the source of the traffic. The switch in the center will be where the span of CPU is being performed. And the switch on the right will be the destination switch. Pings will be sent from SVI 10 on the switch on the left to SVI 10 on the switch on the right. Moving on to the lab switches, we can see our three switches in the top tabs. We have our source where we are ready to send our ping traffic towards the destination switch with the address of 10.0.0.2. In the center, we can see our span of CPU switch as well. We can begin by sending the ping from the source switch towards the destination switch. As you can see, we have reachability between the two switches and we can go to the destination switch and verify that the ICMP requests and ICMP replies are seen at the CPU of the switch. Using the ETH analyzer tool, we can see this traffic natively on the switch as this is CPU bound traffic due to the address being owned by the local switch. Traffic that is addressed to the switch or is control plane traffic does not require a span of CPU to be seen via ETH analyzer. However, if we run the same ETH analyzer on the center switch, which the traffic passes through, we will not natively see the traffic at the CPU of the switch. As you can see, there is no traffic being observed in the capture. In order to see this traffic at the CPU, we will need to span it there manually. We start by checking to see if there's any currently running monitoring sessions on the switch so that we don't overwrite a pre-existing monitoring session. As we can see, we don't have any and we're safe to enter configuration mode. We can choose any monitoring session number. In this case, we choose session one and we will specify a source interface. Prior to specifying a source interface, let's check our CDP neighbors so that we correctly choose the ingress port from the source. We can see that we have a source interface of E11 for this traffic. Therefore, we will specify that as our ingress port. Specifying the both keyword here allows both received and transmitted traffic to be sent to the CPU in the span. Our destination interface will be soup ETH0, also known as the CPU interface of the Nexus switch. We no shut the span session and can exit configuration mode. To view the traffic, we can again run the same ETH analyzer CLI as before. This time, unlike prior to the span to CPU being configured, we can see the ICMP requests and replies in the capture. This confirms that the span to CPU is working successfully. Additionally, suppose we had a network that had a high volume of native CPU traffic. To filter out and only see the span to CPU traffic, we can use the mirror keyword in the ETH analyzer command. We run the capture again, and we can still see the ICMP requests and replies on the screen. Lastly, to disable the span to CPU, we can return to configuration mode, go to the monitoring session, and perform a shutdown of the session. This will stop all span traffic from being sent to the CPU of the switch. If we're done using the span to CPU entirely, we can delete the monitoring session from the running configuration on the switch. This too will stop all span to CPU traffic. This concludes our demo and tutorial on span to CPU using a Nexus 9000 switch.
Thank you for taking the time to view this video, and we hope it is helpful as you troubleshoot within your network. Should you require any additional assistance, please don't hesitate to contact Cisco Tech.